technical issues here. This is good fun. Um, welcome to the first Danzinger live presentation. Um, just to let me explain to you a little bit about who and what Danzinger is. Danziger is a breeder. Now, we all know flowers, but they don't arrive by magic. And the breeders are basically people who invent new flowers. And they, in turn, supply the cuttings for these flowers or the seeds or whatever direct to the growers who then grow, grow flowers for the florists and the floral designers around the world. You probably haven't seen Danzinger on the sleeves of the flowers, you know, but that's because they trademark the name of the variety. So, for example, uh, Million Stars Jip, it will say Million Stars, but it won't say Danzinger. Um, but Danzinger are passionate, really passionate people about communication and about encouraging people around the world to know more and to interact. So this series of... Um, of webinars, which we're producing for you free of charge, is all about changing how you approach things and also increasing your knowledge about how things are done. We have a very, very talented young man called Ati Lyra from um, Estonia, who's going to join us um, hopefully very soon, because I can't see Ati. I can see myself, which to be honest with you, is not my favourite thing. I have to be honest. And in case you don't know me, my name's Alison Bradley, and I'm editor in chief of Future Flowers magazine and co founder of an organisation called Floral Fundamentals. And my background is I too am a designer, uh, a judge, a teacher, a demonstrator, you name it, I've done it. Everything from conditioning flowers right through to designing. So um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping there's lots of little noises going on. I'm hoping that um, Artie Lyra is going to join us now. So Jonathan, can you bring in Artie? Oh, Jonathan. You can't see Jonathan. He's... Hi, Alison. Please change your uh, uh, layer yeah. to, to a gallery view. Sorry? Change your uh, view to gallery view. <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand. What do you want me to do? Alison, you have on the Zoom a, an option of a view a button and then switch it to a gallery view. Gallery view? And Absolutely. You, uh, oh, darling, I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Artie. Hey, welcome to heaven. <laughs> do you know it there makes, was so that was 50 minutes delay because it's, you know, we have to check your ideas before we will let you in. <laughs> oh, there's a few people going to check me in before I can get into heaven. That's for sure. That's for sure. Well, um, people around the world, this is Artie, as you probably gathered. Artie is a highly talented and individual designer from Estonia, who I first, am I allowed to say discovered? Am I allowed to say I discovered you? I just got, I found him. Yes. <laughs> you may say that. You're a very keen competitor, yes? Yes. You like to I like to compete. Yeah. And um, the first time I discovered was through um, a book called um, the Flora, Floral Art Annual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you entered the competition and saw your work there, which is gorgeous, actually. I've lost your sound. I can't hear you. That's quite I, interesting. I, I was. I didn't want to interrupt you. I was saying thank <laughs> you. <laughs> well, then the next time I saw you or met you was um in Berlin at the World Cup, and yes. you were representing Estonia. Yeah. Yes, yeah, my home country. Yay! Yay! And you were on the floor. I can still see this. You were on the floor doing a design with bones, yeah? And super skinny, looked bony as well. <laughs> you know, the competing, like co competing in the world cha uh, championship takes everything. So if, if, you are, if you want to lose weight, go to compete. 
This is true. I've stopped competing, you can tell. Look, so fat. <laughs> oh, you've got the bones. Yes. I remember. One. Yeah. But we are not talking about bones today. No, today we're going to talk about something else because the reason I invited you to join me on this webinar was that um, you started to use material quite often the same kind of material but you were using it in different ways so it's it chips off there yeah or gyps, yes. as you call it yeah and and it, it was so technical and so difficult and so time consuming that i you know i i thought you needed another life to actually do all this well it's all about planning and, and using right products that's, the right things that's very true so tell me chip is not popular universally it is popular in certain countries personally i used it a lot and i know why and what but tell me is it popular in estonia with your customers yes it is it is popular and we like to use it and uh, we like to use in our bouquets and also to sell it to customers and uh, well, if you have followed me, then you know that uh, one of uh, our girls got married also a few years ago and everything was Gips of Villa wedding. So she especially requested Gips of Villa wedding because she likes them and uh, she looked fabulous. And of course, if you're in, from this kind of cold country where it's still snow right now, <laughs> so it's, you know, yeah. if you want to have like outside pictures with nice pictures, like Kipsa Villa is basically the only one color flower what you can use to take pictures and uh, after coming inside, it will still look great. So it's safe to use it outdoors in cold climates. That's interesting. I didn't know that. It, well, it, every, every flower dies to, uh, because of the minus, but it still keeps uh, the shape for the, for the day at least. And like, if, if you know, we have a new, new female prime minister and also female president. So to, to celebrate our new female uh, prime minister, we did Gips of Villa balls with tulips because it was minus 12 outside. So there was <laughs> nothing, nothing else to use than tulips and Gips of Villa. And they looked fabulous. And they were like, oh. they were just right for the event. So tell me also, um... I'm going to ask uh, Jonathan to put up a slide. I know certain vari varieties of gyp and I know why I use them. What about you? What, kind, what variety of gyp do you use? Well, we started, I'm an old one. Uh, so it's like I started from the 90s uh, with uh, Million Star. Yeah. Of course, like, like we all. It was like dancing a hit. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, you were mentioned about the, the book, so the, in the book uh, I used actually two varieties. One is like big uh, flowered uh, excellence, what we are talking about today. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the other one was million star. So just like, you know, to make uh, the size, because the size difference is just ridiculous. If, if you have the biannual book, uh, check it out, you will see how much bigger the excellence is uh, compared to Million Star. Yeah. In fact, Jonathan, Jonathan's behind the scenes for us. Could you show us picture? Oh, that's picture oh, number one. That's Marika this, with, uh, with our, uh, my bouquet. Yeah, this beautiful is, Jonathan, can you show us picture number five, please? If you show us picture number five, it shows this design that is made of <laughs> chip. It is made with Gips of Vila. So the skull part is uh, Gips of Vila excellence and the little dots are million stars. So you see that uh, size difference. <laughs> okay, and Jonathan, can you show us picture number three, please? And this shows um, a bouquet that you've made very recently for us in Fusion Flowers. Yeah, that's it. Um, and most people looking at that would think, good grief, you need to get a life that can't be commercial. But it is commercial, isn't it? It is really commercial. And it's, uh, well, it looks lots of work and re really time consuming, it, but it's like what kind of materials you are using and, uh, you know, how you will use your work time. So it's, uh, you know, there's like certain ways how you can uh, skip 
a uh, few minutes or a few hours <laughs> and make it faster and it's still long lasting and uh, let's talk about this bouquet later on because yeah. i will okay. show you how to yeah. make it but, fast yeah, so, so now there is a questionnaire so those people who are on zoom with us um there's you can now actually get into uh to actually answer this so uh jonathan could you put up the questionnaire please number number one of the questionnaires okay we haven't got that yet but jonathan ah there it is and it's listing out um million stars mirabella excellence overtime pearls blossom and none of these so if you're on zoom could you please answer uh, these questions if you recognize um any of these varieties yeah so you can choose any of those um and this is just to give us an insight into what is available near you and, and where you live etc and then um and then once could you now go on to the second questionnaire please okay here it comes yeah um okay oh that's interesting so 31 percent know about million star mirabella 11 oh no so 86 percent no million star 72 percent no excellence and grading down from 31 percent down to six percent is the answer to that so that's quite interesting yeah had you heard of all of these varieties at arty yes of course but I like to use the. I like to use. So recently, I like to use Excellence, uh, really, because it's super easy to use and it's super easy to get because uh, there's a lots of uh, lots of uh, flowers available. And why I like to use. Yeah, tell us why you like to use it. Well, you see the excellent stem. Yeah. Well, first of all, it is su super big, so it is Excel. It's like. It's not uh, pronounced excellence, but it starts with X actually, the name. So it's, you have to remember that it's XL Lance. So it is big. <laughs> and, it, and the flowers are super, super big. Yeah. And you know, and it's super commercial. See, I'm using my yeah. pruners, just yeah. cutting stems. Uh, and basically, I have like four same length stems for bouquet so it's like oh one stem yeah is so this it, commercial? A, yes this is super commercial and uh you know i'm working for interflora and one of the hit uh, in uh, our countries and the baltic countries ukraine and belarus and yeah. hungary is uh, a bouquet what we are calling a uh, fairy tale bouquet ah. so it's uh, so it's uh spray roses and gips of fila and, have, you, uh, have you got and, one yes i will show you right away but i will just show you how we will usually start or how i recommend to do it it's like you just spread uh, the roses but i would recommend to use this kind of fry uh, wire frame just okay. this kind of basic basic wire frame so you can really spread the, the uh, spray roses first so in different direction and then you just got the uh, gips of fila like i did from one stem, you will get four stems, profit. And then <laughs> finally, finally, we'll end up something like this. I wow. So we wow. call it fairy tale bouquet. It's, and it's like my inspiration for this bouquet was actually like Grimm's uh, Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping uh, Beauty. Tale. Hello, yes. Walt Disney. Yes. Yes, because it's it like, roses and, and this kind of like really really white and fluffy <laughs> flowers wow. and, it's, and it's super easy and it's really really beloved also i love but it, it. But it's, it's that easy to, to make and i really <laughs> recommend to use this kind of fire, fire uh, wire quick, frame how quick is it for you to make a wire construction frame like that how quickly can you make that one minute is there okay that's what i thought you know because there's a lot of arguments about how long it takes to make constructions and things but you can make them really quickly thanks to, to this wireframe you can uh, use like at least uh let's say uh 
five uh, spray roses less or uh, like uh, two uh, keeps a feeler less in your bouquet and it will be still the same thing and it's not only about like you know uh, saving money as a as a producer of the bouquet but it's also like less stems goes to water the more bacteria get to the water so the, also the bouquet will last longer so let's uh, try to find this kind of good balance that, uh, that the customers will be happy, we will be happy, and the flowers will be happy. Oh, good, as far as I'm concerned. There's a second question here. There's a second question that um, Jonathan has got somewhere. So Jonathan, can you, oh, that was quick, darling. <laughs> so it says, how often do you use JIP in your designs? Very often, occasionally, and almost never. So those of you that are on the Zoom, can you please answer that now? Um, and then we'll get the uh, relevant answers or the relevant distribution back to us later. Um, I hope everybody's enjoying this so far because we're going to go on to slightly more, um, shall we say, artistic designs and how and how Artie has brought them up to something that is commercial. And that's that's the trick here is how can you turn something that's that's accepted at competitions and exhibitions and indeed into these these high profile um, media things that he's involved in and then turn it into something that's commercially viable. So here we go. 25% say they use it very often. 64% uh, say occasionally and 11% say almost never. So thanks for answering that, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I, the thing I liked about uh, about JIP is it's available year round and it's, you know, yes. you know you've got it there. It's, a, it's good. So I remember some of your bouquets and as you say, your weddings, etc. By the way, the detail on that dress was just beautiful, really beautiful. Um, but I am aware that people might think looking at something like that, this is a very, very difficult technique and technical thing. But I also know you are a bit of a magician when it comes to thinking up clever ways of dealing with it. So can you give us an insight into that, please? Well, I would like to actually show you one bouquet with the same framework also, which is more artistic and it's uh, like super easy to make. OK, First cool. All, all for that. Well, you know, we use the, this rice paper lamp. The inside is inside is the same framework. We just bend it up with a little bit more uh, this kind of round shape, glued yeah. the glued the stems uh, or the paper on the on the ends of the framework, and just it's super easy to make. And you soon you will uh, and this easy you just get like really really and nice and different bouquet. <laughs> The stems go straight into water. That looks beautiful. That is... and, and I don't want to end up like this because I still think that it's a little bit too boring for my some of my customers. And okay. I just have a li little bit of this kind of swan uh, feathers here. <laughs> well, so, go on, pop your feathers in. And I just want to stick some of the feathers here to give a little bit more interesting. And because of the the excellence is super, super nice and uh, super big. So like, I even don't have to fix them because they are, the feathers will be stick inside really, really nicely and they will not move anywhere. So slowly you can see that there's something going on. Of yeah. course, this kind of zoom calls, you don't see the whole beauty of the bouquet. It's always nicer to see it up close. Okay. There's one trick, one trick with this uh, swan uh feathers you you see that they're not really like regular because yeah. i think that if the feathers are like this kind of perfect uh -huh. they they maybe get too much attention from the from your bouquet or from the, your design so what i'm doing is i'm trying to get a little bit of uh, keratin out of it okay and how i'm doing it i'm just putting it in the dishwasher excuse me in yes. the dishwasher yes <laughs> And uh, then I'm just drying them, and uh, then it's like it's less this kind of uh, regular feather look like, but it looks more like artistic, like drawing, and uh, yeah. it's, kind of, it's so much cooler. So little trick if you want to give a little bit better, a cooler look to your feathers, even to your chicken feathers or rooster feathers, just put it in the dishwasher. 
only you could come up with wash your feathers in the dishwasher. I mean, I'm a, I'm envisaging a lot of bald swans in Estonia just now. A feather free zone. Well, it's uh, I, I was uh, because you know it's a uh, COVID time. You cannot really like travel anywhere, so it's like, yeah. of course you want to go somewhere. So I was on the islands and just walking in the on the seaside and just picking up the swan feathers. Yeah. And I think like if you're from Netherlands, you, like finding the swan feathers will not be difficult. <laughs> That's true. I wondered where you disappeared to every time we were in the Netherlands together. That's true. <laughs> so here, yeah, it's, it's so, like it gets like some little bit more interesting, and it's also like gives a little bit extra. Of course, you can add li like Bibornum fl flowers or some kind of flowers yeah. inside, but I just like to keep it this kind of white, white cool uh, bouquet, and it's super easy to make. I mean, like if you spend more than fifteen minutes, you're wasting time. Exactly. Yeah. Can, can I just ask a question? Something just flashed up in my screen there just now. And it's actually quite relevant. Um, what's the temperature do you use for your dishwasher? I mean, <laughs> is it is it one of these quick rinse cycles you use? Yeah. Ecological, of course. Ecological, of course it is. Yeah. OK, that's fine. Cool. It looks as if you are in heaven now because you've got you've got the excellent strip there. Yes, and it's like my uh, feathers are still a bit peeking out a little bit. <laughs> I'm changing the location. No, don't drop your feathers out. Please don't <laughs> drop your feathers out. That would be just a disaster, wouldn't it? So, so you transferred from uh, one variety of drip through to excellence because um, yes, it's bigger, so you get instant impact with it, but also it's um, from your point of view, very, very, very good co commercial product because it cuts down so well, yeah? Do you know why I really like it? Look, Look. at that stem. Yeah, I can see. Really long yes. stem. You don't okay. see it. There's no leaves. Of course. There's no, no leaves. leaves. So, so there's no like waste. You know, so there's no waste that you don't have to wait, uh, like you don't have to spend time cleaning off the stems and also like you know it's it's faster like my, my, my girls just cut the stems putting in the water and it sometimes it's like you know you remember like it keeps a feel that they said like you should put really into hot water and you know basically boiling water to just make them open up you don't need to do that with excellence no, it's just, uh, no like true. flower food uh regular water uh change it and it lasts forever yeah it's, it's great product it's not something that has to be sold to me because I use it already because I really love it. But because I used to do a lot of stage work. So if I was doing a big design on stage, the bigger, like using excellence was logical because people could see it, you know, rather than a small headed flower, a big headed flower is, 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 you know, far more impact. So what else have you got in your box of tricks, Mr. Artie? So let's, let's, let me show you how to make like this uh, glued bouquet really fast. Okay. Well, basically, the base is frisbee. What is that, darling? That's oh, a frisbee. it's a frisbee. Yes. yes. So the shape is frisbee, and I'm really like, like, look at my fingers; they're big. So it's like to, I have to make the the gluing part really, really fast and really effective. So basically, what I'm doing, I'm just gluing the frisbee frisbee part with the uh -huh. double sided tape. And uh -huh. uh, then you just need to re remove the double sided tape. And uh, I like how I'm doing it. This is basically like just the, taking a little bit, piece of uh, Kipsophila next to me and just starting to put on the top of the tape. Like okay. No, no, uh, no glue. Uh, like how no, you glue. Say the threads. no glue threads. And it's super, super fast. So basically, I did this yesterday yeah i will show you okay this is the final fi uh, final base and this is like just to uh to do the clips keeps a feeling on the top i think that it's for, was for 45 minutes the 45. Eucalypt, leaves, eucalypt leaves underneath is like two minutes okay. it's double double-sided tape Front and it's, it's, yes and it's it's super super easy easy to make and i've well yeah. 
Artie, can I ask about the handle? What is well, the, the handle? The handle. Handle is, handle is actually this kind of. There's a wires inside, and I use okay. this kind of a uh, hobby plastilin, but uh, dries out really light because this is this is super light. And underneath, I have a uh, poly polyurethane foam. Oh, polyurethane foam. Okay, yeah. You don't you don't have to have it. You can fill it with something else. But I'm just uh, I want to make it really really quick. I want to forget it. So the polyurethane <laughs> foam, like you you can you know some people call it macroflex. I'm going with these two bottles. Okay. <laughs> Mixing, mixing up them together, uh, uh -huh. putting in the on the frisbee, waiting for twenty minutes, and ready. Ready. And I can clean up um, some other stuff uh, and yeah, to yeah. prepare, prepare, prepare for some other work. And uh, like I don't have to worry. And you know why I'm using this kind of uh, different kind of like chemicals, different kind of things because they like we have a big shop, but still you know you need space for the flowers. So yeah. like, like you don't, you cannot really have like too too many, you know, styrofoam balls or anything else like this, or even too many uh, bridal bouquet holders. Then it's just like you have to figure out yourself how to make it something fast, something quick, and something which is really really you. Yeah, that has to be realistic. I absolutely agree. It's it's, it's if you don't so don't do that, then it's it's not feasible. So it's like gluing the flowers on the top of it. It took like. Like all together with the proper leaves and covering the handle, it's like one hour to make the base. Well, it took half an hour, but uh, actually on that half an hour, I just needed five minutes to mix up those uh, yeah. ch chemicals and the uh, rest of things. I could drink coffee or do anything else. Uh, if people think that the Gipsophila is too boring, then of course you can add something here. Uh, I just have a little bit of uh, jasmine flowers. Uh, you can make little holes using the knife because it's a plastic and the other one is there. Of course. Foam there. Of course. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you can just make little holes in it. Perfect. And, and just stick the. Oops. One is lost. I'm not uh, go and get it. I'm just uh, using one. Yeah. It is super hard to work on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> because you have only yeah. that, only that frame. <laughs> it's one of, actually, it's very true. It's that the, the fact that one of the big things you need to learn as a demonstrator is to be able to work and talk at the same time. Well, not easy. That, <laughs> that, will not, that will not be a problem for me, but it's like, you know, just how to, how to be on the frame and the work is on the frame and uh, then I just have to uh, do another hole because I already lost the, uh, ah, found it. Yeah. Well, if okay. it doesn't stick, then we will glue it. Because okay. the one is on the hole and, uh, well, let's talk about it while I'm gluing it here, and okay. then I can lift it. Can I just, just can I can just confirm because another question has come in to me um, that the jib is attached onto the double-sided tape. Yeah. Yes. So there's very small sprigs of the jib, and they are pressed down onto the double-sided tape, and that just sticks it. Yeah. Yes, it's like it's super super easy. If you have smaller hands than mine, then it's even easier to make. <laughs> Guys. Yeah, okay. My hands, usual hands are like this, like the, mine are super, super big. So everything which is like gluing, it's quite difficult for me. Yeah, so perhaps I, I should explain. If we're beside each other, I think I fit underneath your armpit. You know, you are a big man. <laughs> yes. Well, there are bigger ones, but, uh, well, at least my hands are super, super huge and, uh, it is quite difficult for me to, to glue things. Anyhow, it's like- I'm just, just I tell you, I'm just gonna send a little message to Betty. She keeps sending little messages here um, and they're, they're 
unfortunately, the screen's not big enough to fit the whole question on. So Betty, if you want to ask me uh, questions or points, can you put it up on the, the Facebook chat box I've got open for you just now so that I can see them all? Because I can't see all of what you're doing. But one question that has come in is, what about a water source? Okay. They're saying about a water source for uh, the bouquets, but you don't need a water source for a bridal bouquet. True. And it's Why like, would you need a water source? And I made it yesterday and it still looks fabulous. That's, Thank you. Th that's the thing why you, you have to use good product like uh, excellence. <laughs> even if it tries, if it, even if it tries a little bit smaller, it's still big enough. Yeah. Okay. Do you want so me to I, read? I'm oh, sorry. Go I'm ahead, Annie. Well, no, I can't see what you, you, you've been typing questions up and it's such, you know, it's a tiny, tiny thing off the screen. I can't read it. Okay, so one of the questions that uh, the audience asks is, uh, do you usually use excellence with other flowers or just excellent? Uh, and if uh, mixed, then with what kind of uh, flower you recommend? Well, I, I do mix uh, excellence, of course, everyday work. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm a commercial florist, so it's like what the customers wants that he will get it or she will get it. Uh, like, but keeps a feel that we use everywhere, like, you know, mixed bouquets, spring, spring bouquets. It just gives this kind of fresh feeling to your, to your uh, bouquets. And especially like if you're going really crazy with the greenery, I, I actually like to use keeps a feel instead of greenery. Just use this kind of uh, uh, wireframe like I showed you. And uh, just even without any leaves, just the gips of filia, with the tulips, with everything. It's, uh, it just gives this kind of freshness to your bouquet, especially right now when it's spring and when yeah. everybody is like tired. So it's, uh, it's important to, uh, to give this kind of fresh feeling to yeah. your customers. Now I'm trying to put this one on the stands and just show you something else. Okay, well, in you go. It looks actually. It looks beautiful. When we featured it in the magazine, we got huge reviews about it. They just loved it. And as you rightly say, you can produce this. It doesn't need to be in a water source when you're doing something like this. Yes, and I just uh, figure out that I put my stand too far. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Well, 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 people... The place where I'm planning to put it, that, that it will look nice in the frame, it's too far, I'm trying to reach it. Okay, <laughs> there he goes, he's strong. Don't knock anything over. I should explain to you, Artie is, he has a huge shop. His shop, um, he bought his shop. It's an old post office building and it is a gorgeous shop, but he's working at one end of the shop. And it's a really, he, shot, he sent me a photograph of, where he's working and I am telling you now, I am too fat to have fitted into that space. I could not fit it in there. So the first slim artery is in there. Okay, what next? Well, what do you want to see? Do you want well, to see how I, how I made the bridal bouquet? Because this is also really commercial and probably helps lots of people. Uh, yeah. the, uh, bouquet, the bouquet, what, what you saw on the, also on the picture, it's uh, actually real wedding. It's uh, our, our uh, youngest uh, girl in the shop got married like she's super super nice super super she is not nice. like she's really really small she's can a sweetie do, uh, she can do huge bouquets but she's like one third of my size i guess and so it's she I wanted know. to have keeps a feel of waiting in the winter so and she said like uh, after please do the bouquet and make sure that it's not too heavy yeah so here is like replica of, of her bouquet and it's super, super light. And uh, this is this, it. Yeah. I'm trying to take it off from the handle. You know, I remember um, someone was talking to me, asking me about the large scale bouquets, you know, and, um, and, and basically the huge scale bouquets that people see are actually demonstration pieces. They're not meant for the average bride to carry down the aisle. But I do remember saying to them that in all the years that I did bridal floristry, uh, no bride ever said to me, should I go and uh, 
join a gym to do workouts to be strong enough to carry my bouquet because you know at the end of the day if you've carried something that's too heavy you know your wrist gives out and you're nervous and everything so a lightweight bouquet is ideal um the, can i just say um i'm responding to some messages here hello to anne guns from belgium hello to julie from the uk nice to see you here good to see you um and one question did come in there Thanks. And saying this is really very nice and very commercial. She's right. It's absolutely commercial. That's what this whole concept is about. But equally, uh, one of the questions, which was a surprising question, was where do you buy your excellence jib? Where do you get it? Well, I, I actually have uh, four suppliers, so yeah. I will just see who has the cheapest. So you just order it from your, your supplier, your wholesaler, yes? There, there are a few products which I'm actually like, which I really like to have it all the time in my shop. So one is Excellence, one are Alissa's from Lysiantus. And, uh, and these are like the things which I'm like, uh, I know I, I, want, I want to have them. And then I'm just checking at who has the, uh, who has the cheapest price so I, I can you buy Alisa. more. And, and I can I can sell it to my customers because it's like you know, of course. And of because course, of course, I'm hard. looking to I'm looking to crams as well. Like with the gifts of feelers, try to find the like excellence. Try to find like thirty uh, grams because you get the most of it, like okay. four, thirty or or higher, uh, because then you can cut it for four pieces. Use it as a, uh, use it in your base, and it also shows you that probably the the flowers are fully open and. Uh, I'm ready to use. Well, one question that's come in is, do you prefer um, growers uh, who produce this excellence? Do you prefer African or American grown jib? But would you know that? Well, I try to, I try to follow which one, which from which country it is. But I actually haven't seen the, like such a big difference that I could, I should, uh, I should. Uh, prefer one of the countries to others aha uh -huh. okay that's a fair it, point it's, it's just like only thing which i'm really following is like how many grams yeah yeah well let's come back to this uh piece yeah the mechanic I, yeah i have i have just these two blocks of leftover uh chloroform dry chloroform okay dry okay why dry because if it's a uh, wet foam, it's heavy and it leaks, and you don't want to make a bridal bouquet uh, no. uh, wet. The second thing, why try? If you can, you can use also the fresh flower flower foam. But I, my experience, the dry flower foam just holds flower better. Oh, better, yeah. It's just like it's strong, stronger grip, and. To make this bouquet, it's just like I'm just putting these ones two together, doing this kind of framework around it, cut off the, the stems. Chamfer, like yeah. Basically easy. Just I'm I'm not cutting here because it just makes too much noise, but just giving a little bit of a round shape. Of course, if you already have a balls, then it's better, easy, even easier for you. But you know, yeah. too much space for nothing. You can you can uh, uh, shape flower form yourself. Course. And then I just put it on the waist and start to work from the bottoms up. Okay, bottom up. Because because it's super light, it means that it moves also. To, just to yeah. fix the bolt first and start to 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 work with it, it will be easier. And of course, the end part will be the trickier. And this is what I'm doing. I'm just usually like hanging from something and just yeah. using grill sticks to put it okay. on the so I have stronger grip and it doesn't like if i put the finger in it it leaves whole yeah so it's just like you know using this kind of grill sticks then i can add more yeah and like just slowly putting inside more and trying not to spread too much the already uh, flowers which are here just like if yeah. you see there's some holes and like if you're doing preparation for next day then you know you may they may uh, try a little bit. I I uh, recommend to keep them in gold uh, covered with the uh, with the plastic, of course. Yeah. Okay. Finishing <laughs> touch. 
What is this? Finishing touch. Okay. Excellent. But it's, but it's from Japan. I can't. Uh, I cannot wait when we can go back to Japan because I really like how this one sprays. Like it's really? a really, really tiny spray. It doesn't leave this kind of huge uh, drops. So it's uh, super, super easy. And uh, if you don't have this kind of bottle, just if you see somewhere in the hairdresser shop or something, try to get it. This is, this is the bottle is with delay. So it's, you don't have to bump it so hard and it's really, really nice mist uh, to your flowers. So Okay, so it's, it's kinder on your hand to use. It's not Look, killing your thumb. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. It has a little bit of delay, and it's it's super super uh, uh, fun to use. Okay. So this is like really easy technique, and it's super fast to make. Like, cool. Don't say don't say to your customers. Of course, to your customers, say like I have to prepare this for uh, like two days, and that's why it costs so much money. Yeah. Uh, but actually, it's just like half an hour work there you go so half an hour's work that's absolutely commercial absolutely commercial and it's like and you've got the, like this kind of stems already like not like try to find like the strongest place like yeah. where how you and like usually this kind of like if you see it as a like triangle on the gypsophila and this like if you got it from here, this is like the easiest to put uh, into the uh, tri foam, and uh, it keeps. So you're not you're not having to wire that in. Who has time for that? I know. You see that I, you know, I come from the UK, as you know, and we are obsessed with wiring. We are famous for wiring. You know, when overseas designers come to the UK for the first time, they're amazed at the range of wires that are available over here, the different, you know, gauges. Whereas when I'm talking to the Europeans, it's like, get it in fast and operational, you know? It, it is, this is like, because it's like, like nobody wants to pay for our work. They want, they want to see something creative, but nobody wants to pay for it. So it's like, exactly. and they don't understand why it's, uh, uh, why we want to uh, charge as much as like, I don't know, uh, hairdresser yeah. or, or car repair, uh, repairs man like but like because we are just working with the flowers uh, yeah it's just we have to find ways that if the customers don't don't understand we have to find ways how to work faster and more efficient yeah yeah absolutely especially now when the price of flowers is so high and 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 of course, like if maybe if you work with some other gypsophilas, not with Tanziger uh, Excellence, <laughs> which is like really nice ball shape, really big, uh, really strong stems, you may need to wire them. But that's not the uh, case with the Tanziger. It's yeah, it it starts Both with stems. XL for 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 the reason it is the best in the market right now. Okay, okay, not that we're biased or anything, but I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you anything else to show us, darling? Yes, of course. I know we started late, but um, I just want everybody to get value for money, even though they're not paying for this. <laughs> yes, I'm really, really uh, sorry about the delay because, you know, we are good with the flowers, but not with the technical things. Technical thing. If you'd seen the amount of hair that's lying on the floor here with me tearing the hair out of my head, you would know I was not a happy bunny a week while ago. <laughs> well, this is uh, like you have seen from the, from the advertisement, but this is I want to show you also like this is super fast to make. This is mask. Say hello to Babel. Hello, darling. <laughs> and uh, Babel fell, but not too far. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. I just put the uh, bottle down because we are okay. Uh, please put him down. We are, Don't we are, are, <laughs> So this is this is really really comfortable to wear. I will show it close. It's burls and tips of Yeah. Again super fast to make. Super, don't tell it to your customers or to don't tell it to your uh uh don't tell it uh the other florist, but it's super, super easy to make, and uh, I will tell you how. Okay, it, it, on, just just a moment. Jonathan, can we see picture number four, please? 
Um, and we'll see, oh, well, you look cute, but if, if we look at picture number, here we go. Jonathan, can you pull back in that picture? It's too close in so we can see the full thing, but um, no, that's the wrong one, darling. We're number four. You seem very, we're not seeing the whole picture. So it's I a beautiful it's, shaped thing. I okay. guess it's not possible to zoom out, but I'm oh, to, I can come you closer. Can in. You come in. <laughs> Hello, Artie. It's Hello. gorgeous. I love it. It's well. Here I have glued with my big fingers, <laughs> uh, uh, but luckily there's not so uh, not so much glue. In it. It's it's again like you know, fifty minutes more uh, work with the Kipsophila, but it's uh, it's uh, it gives with the pearls together. It's uh, gives it really really nice uh, uh, nice effect. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, that's better. I can see it now. Yeah, better. This There's is another music. another male florist here in Estonia, as tall as me. Unfortunately, he decided to start doing uh, hair dressing, hair styling. So uh, we lost one of the doll ones. Oh, I lost him. Mind you, I but, could see him as a hairdresser. <laughs> well, but he was really Lovely. great. Flor he was really great florist as well. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Excellent. OK, so anyway, um, how I did it. Yeah, please. Of, of course, you can buy like ready made mask and just use it as a base. But here you see there's a hot glue underneath. Oh, it's hot glue. OK, so, cool. so it's super, super easy to make. Of course, if you're using this kind of ready made mask, it's usually made for I don't know who. It doesn't fit to at least <laughs> Estonian faces. <laughs> okay so, so even this is uh designed by by uh for this uh fabulous guy we uh, we named him Babel. yes okay well probably if you have seen the uh, my instagram you have seen Babel. yeah as native. yeah and uh so it's uh so it fits to me and it fits to David as well, uh, the, the boy in, on the picture. So it's uh, it's super easy to make this kind of uh, thing for your customer that it will fit. Because if you're using this kind of model head, it, yeah. uh, it may not uh, suit to your customer. So the easiest will be the, to, to make the perfect fit to take this kind of mold of your friend's face. <laughs> I don't see customers liking that somehow, Artie. So <laughs> it's like, uh, well, we, we casted uh, the, uh, Pavel's face. Uh -huh. And uh, so I did two one. One was for display. This is the concrete one. Here you see it. It's kind of nice and gray. Like yeah. if you want to display something. But uh, to work with it or to glue on something and to take it off, you have this kind of silicone form as well. Perfect. That's terrific. So basically, what we did, we did uh, due to alginate copy from uh, from his face. Yeah. Well, who uh, came to my uh, course in Boima Institute uh, last year? No, two years ago. Yes. Then we teach you how to make it. <laughs> uh, well, who missed it? I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's like. Uh, to, to work with uh, alginate, I'm actually working with uh, dental alginate because it's faster. It's just yeah. like, you know, it's you have to be super quick. So you, you, somebody has to teach you how to, or yeah. at least you have to have experience first uh, that you cannot uh, start with the model right away. So it, because, but dental alginate, it just uh, uh, hardens with two minutes and it's yeah. super, super easy. Then you have this kind of, uh, uh really nice uh, and uh, perfect uh, form and mm -hmm. then you can use that uh, mold for at two times so i, yeah. I used uh, for uh, silicon face and this is against dental silicon yeah cool. if you have worked with the silicon you usually know that the uh, uh, artist shops who are selling it it's like yeah. hardening time is like 24 hours who has time for that no, exactly. This is 20 minutes. Again, Perfect. dental silicone. Okay. Connie has just put up a message saying, ah, oh, she remembers it very well. Yes, because <laughs> we tried to take 
uh, model of of, uh, of her face as well. So she definitely remembers that. And because it's silicon, nothing sticks to it. So basically, I can glue whatever oh. here. So basically, I just put the, the hot, hot glue on the top of it. Yeah. Just a lot, so it just uh, Form. forms everywhere. And then I just put the burls on the top of it. And it's then you just have to wait until hot glue dries out. And then you just peel it off, and you're ready. And then how do you apply the jip to the form? How do you apply the jip to the glue? Uh, chip is actually uh, glued with the uh, oasis. Uh, so the oasis cold glue, the yes. floral adhesive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But it's, cool. But it's again, it's like you know, if you want to do this kind of some kind of mold, maybe like you know, the silicone is uh, hard to get in your country. But if you want to do this kind of fast, uh, fast uh, form of fast this kind of shape uh, with the hot yeah. glue, then use this kind of uh, kitchen tool shops have this kind of silicon plate or sheet yes, that you can do, put it, yeah. and basically you can get your uh, hot glue uh, away from that also and so that's so, easier so it's, it's a little trick to how well, to make fast i've had a little message from lisa saying she's loving this so thanks very much she's really inspired so that's great thanks lisa uh, that's what it's all about um, another question's come in um, do you use jip? You know, you, you you talked about using it for your hand ties and for your artistic creations that have then become commercial uh, products. Yeah. So, for example, your face mask. You know, you could turn that into a hat or something else. Yes. You could do any shape that you wanted easily. But do you use uh, jip in anything? Any of your other designs? So, like, so uh, to do uh, decor, to do table designs, or anything like that. Yes, if you, if you check my Instagram, and of course, like Danzinger have put some pictures up. Look, we did last year, we did one wedding, which is only with the Gipsophila. Uh, oh, and it was in the seaside, and it was uh, breathtaking. And I have really, really great idea for Gipsophila wedding. So I cannot wait until some other bride will come up. Uh, I cannot tell because somebody will steal it. Yes. But I have, like, for the ceremony uh, place, I have fabulous. Uh, Fabulous idea. So I'm just waiting for for bride to come who says like she wants to have this kind of beautiful romantic uh, mm. wedding, and I have idea for for uh, for that. And I'm definitely going to use excellence because that's the easiest to to work with and fastest to work with. Excellence <laughs> is the biggest. The 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 it's really really white, so it's. That's it's true. It's really, it. really white. Yes, it is really, really white. You know, Instagram, everybody loves Instagram, or so they tell me. But actually, I have a lot of, um, I'm not so sure about Instagram, because I think it's causing nightmares for florists around the world from brides who have huge, huge expectations of what they want. But they've got a tiny budget, you know, so they want an archway, they want the floor decorated. They think they're, you know, they're in, um, I don't know, they've seen things on the catwalk, whatever. How do you deal with that when these people come? Oh, Ivan, hi, hello from Colombia. Oh, how much do you pay for one bunch? Yeah, that's relative, Orna, that's relative to, to your location. It's not fair to ask. Estonia's pr prices are more expensive than the UK. Definitely, Definitely because uh, because of the transportation. it's uh, We yeah. probably will buy it with the same price, but we just have to pay so much more for the transportation. Yeah, it's the same in Russia. You know, they have miles to travel. It's, you know, it's, you've got to be realistic about it your location location is everything and and if and you're Norwegian, <laughs> and if you're Norwegian, you will pay even double the price oh well <laughs> i'm not saying anything so anyway back to the question of instagram how do you deal with these people who come in with the big ideas and then you're saying okay you've got you know 25 euros for this entire wedding i'm, I'm pulling your leg about that but but how do you cope with that well, like you, you usually will understand. Like I'm, I'm in this business quite a long time, so it's like I, I already, you will sense the customer and to see that you know, okay, your budget is this one, and this is what we can do because, like, this is not really like small or big budget. It's just like your expectation for that budget. 
Yeah, yeah. And if the person yeah. will understand that, uh, okay, maybe she or he went uh, too high with the, the expectation and he, he can come lower, then we can work. But uh -huh. if we will still think that my my work is uh, nothing and I shouldn't charge for like my my work day on that uh, when I'm waking up at six in the morning or five in the morning and doing the bouquet, and yeah. if they don't want to pay for that, then no, thank you. You are not my customer. Bravo, bravo. I've turned more. I've turned more. Um bookings down than I've accepted. In fact, people had to apply to me in the old days when I was still doing weddings, but times have changed. Um, this has been great, Artie. I've got to just say thank you for this. This has just been brilliant. I think it's a real eye opener. You know, what's interesting is I discovered you um, through competition work um, and, and watching you there. And then I met you and we became, I think it's probably obvious that we are friends. <laughs> Um, and and I remember your reaction to going and seeing growers, actually going to see a grower and the amount of effort, energy and passion that goes into a grower's life. The thing with florists is you're relatively isolated, you know, quite often, sometimes a florist is a one man band and a shop alone. And often the growers just live in their greenhouses. I don't think they know what's outside the door half of them. So. I remember you talking about meeting a grower and how special that was for you. Do you still feel the same way? Yes, of course. It's, uh, it's, uh, it is really, really important because like after the World Cup and, you know, working every day in the shop, because like you may see my Instagram and you think that I'm doing artistic things. No, I'm doing like 10 hand dyed bouquets in, uh, in two hours. So this is like my regular work day. So it's yeah. uh, like it, I'm doing artistic things to to uh, to to myself to just uh, keep myself sane. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and just like you know, in one point I was just like somehow like stuck in in the stuff, and then you invited yeah. me to the to see the growers, uh, and it just opened my eye and uh, just seeing that somebody else put so much effort to to give us the perfect product it just it just inspires me so much and it's sort of, I'm, i like to watch that product and like seeing like with the excellence and just like showing that they have they have made sure that there's no leaves so the florist will have easier life that the that the flowers will be really big and white so the florist will have easier life and that's that's really really inspiring for for me and uh and you know, if you're florist and if you're stuck, go and uh, learn about the growers. Go and learn about the breeders. You will get your insp insp inspiration. Back, don't yeah. don't scroll in Instagram and just think like, oh, oh, I'm like I would like to do that. I would like to do that. Find yeah. your own way. Find your yes. own uh, own own uh, love. What you like to do, and the easiest is like find. The, find the perfect flowers what will inspire you and work with them yeah absolutely bravo well jonathan has got another question for us jonathan's got another i'm saying jonathan is jonathan i'm doing the <laughs> i'm doing the hebrew here jonathan could you pop up that question that last question for everyone hello there he goes so it's saying following this section session sorry are you more likely to use jip in your designs yes no or maybe. So those of you who are on Zoom just now, can you answer that for us just to give us an insight into um, whether you're finding this kind of thing useful? I should um, tell you, if you don't mind, I'm going to do an advert here, if that's OK, darling. Um, in the next session, uh, we're going to hold these every five or six weeks. That's the idea. Oh, boy. Oh, I think oh. you can. Oh, boy. Can you see that, Artie? Yes. Oh, wow. 89%. Wow. You go, guys. You go. That's brilliant. That's really good. I'm glad because when I first took on the project about Jip, um, I knew I was going to have to work hard. But actually, once people start to see new ideas coming in, they become inspired, you know, and, and it's available. It's easy to get your hands on. Well, in, 
every five or six weeks we're going to hold one of these sessions. Artie will be relieved to hear that he doesn't need to trap himself in this little tiny <laughs> confine again. Um, so the next person who's going to be on, I think you might want to see this, darling, is Steinara Hansen. Yes. Uh, <laughs> who's a, a former world champion. Um, Steinara is known for many things, but he is the, the genius behind taking, and he loves, he loves growers. He's just so passionate about it. But he loves to take what he classifies as non-popular flowers and turn them into something special. You know, he made spray carnation sexy again. He made um, chrysanthemum sexy because chrysanthemum are very hard for him to get his hands on. So he's gonna come on board and give us some ideas um, using some of Danziger's products, but also using some other products as well. So we look forward to that. Um, I'd like to um, say a great big thank you to Danzinger. They've been just absolutely brilliant yes. to do this. Um, can I invite the global brand manager back? Gosh, global brand manager. Oh, there she is. <laughs> That's That's nice. This Hi. is Okay. Oh, so Monica Rudin says, thank you. It's been very inspiring. So Artie, that's down to you, my darling. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Betty, over to you, my darling. Okay. So I, I want to say, first of all, thank you, Alison. And thank you, Ati. You were both great and very interesting and very inspiring. And I hope that everyone enjoyed you, at least with all the comments we can see here and on Facebook, the, the reaction is very, very good. And I'm happy about that. Uh, I would like to invite everyone to follow us on Facebook on the Danziger Cutflower page and also on our Instagram, uh, which is called Imagine More Flowers. Uh, there you can see many a lot of information about the novelties that Danziger released to the market, about the trends and the inspirational idea. We keep uploading things there so you can be you know, up to date with everything. Uh, and I'm glad that everyone enjoyed today. And I really, really thank you both. And uh, looking forward to seeing you on our next event soon.